We're finishing up our discussion of set design with a look at the soft goods that make up a set designer's stock scenery. Soft goods can be characterized as stock scenery that can be folded before it's stored. Such things as curtains and fabric fall into this category of stock scenery. We'll take a look at the standard curtains in the theater and see what purposes they serve. Curtains typically serve one of two purposes. They can either serve as masking or as scenery. Masking is the process of covering or hiding backstage elements from the audience. Curtains are hung strategically to keep such elements as stage lights, stored scenery, or actors waiting off stage from the sight lines of the audience. In the standard Proscenium Arch Theater, soft goods are most commonly used to mask the fly loft and the wings of that backstage area. As you recall from our discussion of theater space, the wings are the area of the backstage on either side of the proscenium arch, where additional scenery is stored and where the actors wait to make their entrances. The fly loft is the area above the arch where the lights and sometimes scenery are hung. There are typically one of two soft goods that are used for masking at the very front of the proscenium arch. Those are either the grand drape, which is a single curtain which hangs in front of the proscenium arch and can be raised or lowered vertically in front of the stage, or the act curtain, which is made up of two curtains which can be parted horizontally to reveal the stage. to the stage, there are levels of soft goods that continue to mask the wings and the loft. The long vertical curtains that mask the wings are referred to as the legs. The long horizontal curtains, which hang above the stage in order to mask the fly loft, are referred to as the border. Soft goods that are used for scenery include the drop, the scrim, and the cyclorama, or sky psych, as it is often referred to. The drop is a soft good, often made of muslin, on which a locale may be painted. Often the scene depicted is a perspective painting, pioneered by the scenic artists of the Renaissance, and used to create the illusion of an exterior setting, but may also depict an interior. Often. A drop also serves as masking as it usually hangs at the back of the stage and actors who are not part of the scene can wait behind the drop to make their entrances. The scrim is a soft good that is used for special effects. It's a tightly netted fabric which, if lit from the front, looks like an opaque or solid surface. When lit from the rear, the scrim can create the illusion that the object behind the scrim is appearing from nowhere. The scrim creates a gauzy, dreamlike effect for the objects that are shown from behind. The cyclorama, or sky psych as it's sometimes referred to, is a large curtain which hangs at the rear of the stage. The purpose of the cyclorama is to create the illusion of the sky. The sky psych is a white fabric on which lights of different colors are reflected to create the different kinds of sky. Blue lights can create the illusion of a night sky. Amber lights can create the illusion of a morning sky. And red lights can create the illusion of a hot afternoon sky. So in summary, the scenic designer is charged with the responsibility of creating a locale or scenic background for a play production. He engages in pre-design activities, which include a play reading, thinking with a pencil, and the all-important production meeting with the director. After the scenic designer is made aware of the directorial concept in the production meeting, he engages in the design process by generating a number of artistic and technical drawings in order to communicate with the director and with his set crew. After the design process is completed, 
The set is constructed by the use of stage carpentry and through the use of stock scenery. Stock scenery includes hard goods such as flats, platforms, and furniture. Soft goods are used for the purposes of masking or scenery. Well, that's our discussion for set design. Complete your task for this section, and then we will go on to the next topic in our discussion of the art of theater.